might switch on. Shall I take it out? Yeah, no, do. I switched it on. I got it out and I switched on. It did actually turn on. So whether it's still got enough juice left in all mm. that, to be fair, I can plug it in if you want. Try no, it. That's okay. How much are you after on it, sorry? Three quid. Three quid, yeah. Mm. I'll have a think on that one. No worries, thank you. Ten seconds later. Would you take two? Would you take two quid for that one. Two fifty. Mm. If you can power it on and show that it's working, I'll, I'll, I'll do that. Sorry. It's alright. It's with me anyway. You can wait. <laughs> Twelve seconds later. Lunch there. Is the screen meant to be that light, or is it? I, th I, th I think I'll leave that one for yeah, now. No Thank you, though. Morning. How, mu how much are the games, sorry? Um, they're pound each. Pound each, yeah. Cool. You play games. Oh, I love games, I do. Do you have an Xbox? No, see, I'm a, I'm a lot older than you. I have a PlayStation 1 and 2. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Me and your old school. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> well, I'll take them two for a pound, uh, pound each, thank you. Yeah. Morning. So if I look in that bag there, I think there's a game or something in there. In that one, yeah. Is that, is that the only game you've got today? How much are you after in the games? Three quid. Three quid, no worries. Morning, is that the only game you've got today? Uh, I've got that one as well. Oh, okay. But no apart worries. from that, yeah. yeah, that's the only one. That's two pounds. No worries. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Morning. Morning, mate. How much are the games, sorry? Games, two pounds. Two pounds, yeah. Is that all the games you've got coming out today? Uh, uh, yes, that's all the games I've got, my friend. Okay, no worries. And uh, we'll have uh, DVDs out in a minute, yeah? No worries. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, bloody brilliant. How much do you normally pay for them? Well, no, I was just, just curious, yeah. mate, just curious. Yeah. Oh, man. And we are back YouTube. For anyone who's returning, thank you. And for everyone who's new, welcome. I'm Mitch, and this is Retro Rummage. I'm in the game, my channel's buying games, DVDs, Blu-rays, uh, any electrical items I get my hands on at car boot sales, Facebook Marketplace, or charity shops for a cheap price. So I'm getting traded into CX at a high price so I can build my own gaming collection. So yes, back with um, another complete video game uh, hunting episode, shall we say. Uh, on the this day, it was a Saturday, I hit a boot sale, charity shops, CEX, and a Facebook marketplace pickup all in one day. So basically, um, this weekend just gone, I went down to see my friend, he's uh, in the army, lives down in Wiltshire. Um, so yeah, met up with him, obviously took the missus, we stayed for the whole weekend, hit 
two boot sales, one on the Saturday, uh, which saw the pickups, which you saw the pickups from now, and then another one on the Sunday, which was a really successful boot sale to be fair. So um, yeah, keep, keep an eye out for that video. But yeah, basically, <clears throat> Like I say, my friend, he's joined the uh, army, well, he's been in the army for a good few years now. Um, thought I'd go down and see him. The weather was really nice. Uh, he said that there was like an armed forces um, festival day sort of thing uh, near his, uh, that we could go to. <laughs> So obviously before all of that, uh, got down there on the Friday, set our alarms early, got up and hit the Saturday boot sale. Now he did say this was actually the first Saturday boot sale at this um, venue or yeah, location should we say. Um, so he wasn't too sure how it was, how busy it was gonna be. And to be honest, to be honest it was really quiet. Um, yeah, as you can tell, I only got two pickups from it, but obviously it was nice to go. Bumped into Andy, shout out to Andy, really nice to um, to meet him, come over and said hello. Um, obviously said he's been supporting the channel for a, um, a while now as well, so always nice to, to uh, bump into people who, who watch the channel and support it. So shout out to you, Andy, mate, appreciate you. Um, but yeah, only managed to get two games, but they are good ones. Um, there was a Tom Tom that I was um, I'm in an R and over because Basically, it was very bright, but when you turned the, the screen on, I could see that it had a bit of light behind it, but not too much. And I didn't know whether that was a setting or if i have done something wrong, so I left it, which was a shame really, because if it you know, sh shined bright like I wanted it to, um, I think it would have traded in for maybe like 13 or 14 pound voucher. But hey-ho, that's how it goes. So yeah, two pickups unfortunately, but they've got some good trading. Um, got UFC free, undisputed. Um, featuring Pride on the Xbox 360, paid a pound for that, and that one trades in for six pound. And then yeah, got Angry Birds Trilogy, again on the Xbox 360, paid a pound for that, and that chops in for uh, four pounds. So yeah, two pound there into 10 pound. Um, but yeah, unfortunately that was it. There was a couple of other games, but n not too much. I think in the future as that kind of, that boot sale kind of builds some momentum on a Saturday, it'll probably be better in the future. But unfortunately on this occasion, it wasn't too great, but it wasn't a wasted journey. So yes, literally left the boot sale. Um, the day before that, I basically, whenever I go anywhere in the UK, I always flick on um, Facebook Marketplace, change the location, see if anything pops up. In my mind, I'm like, yeah, there's, there's not gonna be anyone in this area who's looking for video games like I do, and I'm just gonna mop up. But <laughs> unfortunately, that's yet to happen. But I did manage to get this good um, score here, and I did manage to catch it on video. So I'll, I'll show you the footage now. Oh, Hello. hi mate, buying the games? Yeah. Nice one. Just the Forza yeah, yeah take that tennis off. I'll just look through and make sure yeah. they're all there. Is that all right? Yeah. Uh, checks. Uh, should all be in there. Mm, nice. Check them ones. Nice one. Thank you very much. Thank you. So yes, as you can see from the footage, a load of games, £10 paid, um, couple in there with some good trading value, but all in all, uh, I think all of these trading for maybe £28 voucher. Now there is a copy of Forza Horizon. Um, I believe this is Forza Horizon 2, but I don't know if you can see there, um, it's got like Chinese, uh, Japanese writing across the bottom. So I don't believe that that's a, a PAL version of this. So unfortunately, I think that's uh, just, just dead money, that one. But the rest of them are PAL and most of them come from CEX. So we've got um, over G fighters. I don't know each of the indiv individual chopping prices of these, um, but like I said, 10 pound paid and 
yeah, uh, I believe it's about £28 voucher for all of this. But yeah, we've got Overg Fighters, uh, Halo, what's this, Halo? Yeah, I think it's just Halo on the original Xbox. Um, yeah, this was one of the good ones. Call of Duty Black Ops, that trades in for £4. Obviously, we know that on this channel. Uh, Test Drive, uh, Unlimited. I think this one trades in for maybe like £1, something like that. Look, it's even got this, I think it's got the CEX voucher. When was this bought? This was bought on the 16th of March 2019 for £3.50. But I think that trades in for about £1.40, £1.50. Uh, yeah, FIFA 14. Unfortunately, I don't trade in for nothing, so I'll just keep that for a spare case. I've uh, got Harry Potter Lego Years 5 to 7. I think that trades in for maybe £1.50 as well. And then Years 1 to 4. Again, I think that trades in for like £1.40, something like that. Um, PGR4, I think that trades in for like 70p, something like that. Oh, bundle copies. Oh. See, this is another thing you need to be careful with a CX. I've just, just noticed it on this. Obviously, you can tell all of these games have come from CX. Now, this is Harry Potter years one to four, but the disc is the classics version, but the case isn't. And then now I'm looking at this one here, and it says bundle copy. And obviously, it's if normally on the back, it would have there would be no barcode, and it would say bundle copy, but it's not. So obviously, if you're ever buying games from CEX, be sure to check the discs. Um, yeah, look, here we go. Is another one here. When was this bought? 2017. Someone paid eight pound for that. And I think. So again, yeah, you've got the classics version. Of the disc uh, of the case, sorry, but then the disc is the original version. What CX is this? Is it Andover? I think it's Andover, which is the, the CX that I'll be, go to after this as well. Um, so yeah, if you're ever in the Andover era, check your discs. We've got a Minecraft Story Mode, uh, Need for Speed Underground 2. This was a good one as well, Farming Simulator 2013. Uh, that one chops in for. I think five or six pound. Black Ops 2, always love to pick this up. Um, that chops in for 10 pound. Got Lego the movie video game. I think that again, that chops in for like one pound 50. And then yeah, Hitman Absolution. Uh, is that one disc or two? There's two discs in there. So yeah, I think this one chops in for like maybe 40p, something like that. Um, so yeah. <laughs> just for popping in the area and having a quick look nice to get that little pick up there um see so yeah, like i say, 12 pounds spent so far and i'm up to near well yeah exactly about 40 pound cex voucher so all in all not a bad day's hunting um now after I left here like i say, I went into andover had a look in some of the charity shops and cex um so yeah i'll put some footage up of that now for you
everyone. I'm Caroline from the British Heart Foundation. Star manager Joseph Merck with England Arts. Right to me is being an hour. Yeah. 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 Hi mate, um, you've got Spider-Man on the PlayStation 1 in the... Uh... Yeah, yeah, no worries. Is it a... Uh... It's got the manual on that in there, do you know? No, it doesn't. Well, unfortunately. Okay, no worries, I'll leave that one for now then. Cheers mate, thank you. Hi mate, sorry, um, there's a pink PlayStation 2 uh, memory card. Yeah. And there's also a game uh, on the PlayStation 1, Sega Frontier. Yeah. Uh, what's the... Uh... There you go buddy, there's that, feel free. I'll get the, I'll have the memory card, but I'll leave that yeah, one for now. It's just a little bit sun damaged. Yeah, on a bit, understandable, no yeah. So yes, as you can see from the footage, um, unfortunately charity shops were a bust on this day. Um, that's just how it goes sometimes. You know, they, they are hit and miss. Consistency is key with charity shops, is, is what I've found. Um, as long as you keep going, you will eventually find something. But if you just go on the odd occasion here and there, it's more than likely you won't. <laughs> but nipped into the CEX, did manage to get one pickup. Um, there was two games that I wanted to check out. There was uh, Spider-Man on the PlayStation 1 um, and Saga Frontier. I, I realised watching this back that I pronounced it wrong. I believe it's Saga Frontier. Um, unfortunately, Spider-Man didn't have the manual and yes, yeah, Saga Frontier, you can't really see it in the footage, but the, the inside uh, insert was very yellowed um, and looked quite sun damaged and then on the back the case wasn't all that and the disc was a little bit scratched as well so uh, I decided against it unfortunately on this occasion but did manage to get a pink PlayStation 2 memory card now I didn't actually realize that with the memory cards um, I believe anyway for the PlayStation 2 they do not differentiate on color so obviously if you trade that in uh, yeah it's just an 8 megabyte PlayStation 2 memory card and I think they'll give you like a pound trade and then they sell it for five pound. But obviously a pink one is a lot rarer than a black one. Um, and these actually go on eBay for around 15 pound. So obviously to get that for, for a fiver um, is, a, is an epic score in my opinion. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's another tip. If you're ever in a CEX, um, have a look at their memory cards. I know that they differentiate for the PlayStation 1, but for some reason, uh, PlayStation 2 they don't so obviously silver ones um, I believe there's red ones and obviously the pink ones as well have a look at them because if you can get them for cheap it might be worth you know if you don't collect them you could probably even flip it on eBay yourself I will be keeping that in my collection um, so yeah happy to to add that one to the collection because I've got a uh, yeah a, a good <laughs> a good amount of memory cards uh, on the go now I think there's a couple on the PlayStation 1 that I need I think I still need a red one for the PlayStation 2, so it's so nearly completed them. So yeah, all, all in all, as Saturdays go, um, was pretty good. Obviously, 
was able to make it to one boot sale, got a um, Facebook Marketplace pickup, and obviously nipped into CEX as well. So really happy with how the day panned out. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments um, if you've got any suggestions or any tips. Um, but yeah, take care everyone, and I will see you all in the next one.